Welcome everyone, it's Jennifer and thanks for stopping by again. Now lately in die cutting, stacked dies have become very popular. These are sets of dies where there's a basic shape, but there are several dies in different sizes of that shape in the package. Now there are many ways you can use these because you can use all the dies individually, but I wanted to show you a way you can use all of the stacked dies together to create a set of really quick cards. So I'm going to show you four different cards in this video, all using the same stacked die set. Now this will work with any stacked die set shape that you may have, but today I am using this heart set from My Favorite Things. This one actually happens to have a pierced edge to it, so it's hearts with tiny little dots around it, but you could use any kind of stacked die here. Now I have a piece of magnet, magnetic paper here that I'm lining all my dies upside down on, and I'm putting them all inside of each other, trying to line them up as best as I can, and the magnet kind of keeps it lined up. You could just do it on your table if you want to. Now I'm going to take some, uh, this is micropore tape, it's like a medical tape, very light tape. You could use washi tape or like a painter's tape for this if you want to. And I'm putting a few pieces of tape along the backs of all of these dies so that they're all stuck together. So when I peel this up, it's almost as if it's just one giant die. Now I'm going to keep this tape on here throughout all the card making that I do today so that I can easily and quickly cut all of these hearts inside of each other. Now I have gone ahead and cut some 4x4 four four inch pieces of cardstock. These are all from my favorite things. They happen to be some of their newest colors and they're just gorgeous and I think I threw in a couple old colors in here too. I will list them all below. What I'm going to do is take my heart and center it on each of these pieces and run it through my die cut machine. Each time I can just peel the tape off and remove the dies from the paper and I end up with the negative space and then all the hearts on the inside. Now I'm going to do this with all those different colors that you saw before. I think I actually cut from five or six different colors. When I'm done, I'll end up with a bunch of pieces that I can use in different ways to create a bunch of cards. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the first one. This one has a lot of dimension to it, which makes it really fun. So let's go ahead and start putting it together. First, I'm putting down the steel gray cardstock negative space here. This is from My Favorite Things. And I'm gluing it flat onto a four and a quarter by four and a quarter white note card that I created myself. Now I'm starting with the largest heart first. This is the tropical teal color, which is newer from My Favorite Things. It's a beautiful dark teal. And I am adding some foam tape behind it. So this one stands up a little bit. I took my foam roll adhesive, which is my favorite dimensional tape, and I cut it down the center so it was very narrow, so it would fit behind this thin heart. Now this is very easy to assemble because these pieces all fit together kind of like a puzzle. Now the next one I'm going to glue flat, so it kind of stair steps between the hearts. And this is the blue raspberry color from my favorite things. It's just a beautiful soft pool color. Next is the Peach Bellini Heart, and this is like a soft peach. It's one of the newer colors, and this one I'm going to put with some foam tape. And then the last heart in the center is my favorite color from my favorite things. It's called Persimmon. It's like a, a orangish reddish pink color that is just stunning. If you're a Copic girl, that Persimmon color matches R24, which is my favorite color. Okay, so I did two cards like this where you have the varying bits of dimension on some of the hearts. Now I want to add some die cut sentiments onto these. This is a new die from My Favorite Things and it cuts the words love and adore you. But I am just going to use the words adore you and I've just cut this from some white cardstock. Now I want to add this with my favorite adhesive which is the multi-medium and the matte finish. Now I took some of this and I filled it into this empty fine line applicator bottle. So this bottle here you see on the left actually has the multi-medium in it. I moved my multi-medium in there to test that bottle out because it's got a fine tip to it and you'll see that in a moment. I also have a micro brush handy so that I can move adhesive around if I want to and you'll see that in a moment too. Now this is just a piece of sticky tape to hold my die in place while I put the adhesive on the back. You don't have to do this but it's nice to not have it move around. So this is the fine line applicator bottle. I got mine from My Favorite Things. And it puts a very fine line of the adhesive down. Now, you have to squeeze pretty, pretty firmly to get the multimedium out of this since it's a thick adhesive. But that's OK, because such so little comes out at the time that's perfect for fine, little, detailed, intricate die cuts like this one. I've done many videos on different ways to adhere die cuts like this. You just have to decide which is best for you. Now I'm using that little micro brush, which has just a little foam tip, to kind of move some of the bigger globs of adhesive around so that it's nice and smooth. And I'm using my tweezers to place my die cut in place. Now the nice thing about this adhesive is if you put it down, you need to move it a little bit. It will dry matte so you won't see it on the background. 
and it dries very quickly so you just press it down firmly even though some of the die cut is adhered on the, the raised areas and some is on the flat it turns out just fine now I'm using the same multimedium in that bottle to put on the the word adore I use my micro brush to kind of move some of the adhesive around you could skip that if you wanted to and then I use my tweezers again to add the word adore I really like that fine tip applicator bottle so far I'm still testing it out to see what I think I like putting those small amounts down at once but another thing I like about it it has a lid that keeps the bottle from clogging and you'll see that in a moment it has like a needle that stores in the in the tip of the bottle so that it doesn't get clogged you can see it right here you just slide that right in and it keeps that bottle from getting clogged my multimedia never really gets clogged but it's nice to have this feature and that nice fine tip nozzle okay I decided to add some shimmer to one of these cards the other one I'm gonna leave simple now this shimmer is the wink of Stella pen and it will actually dry to the original color of the cardstock but just have some shimmer on it so you see it looks a little wet there when it dries it will be the original cardstock color now I'm, I have another fine line applicator bottle here, but this one is filled with glossy accents. So I'm putting a clear shine over all the words um, adore you on this card so that it has a little bit of shine. You could see how easily that comes out of the bottle to trace that die cut, and it also won't get clogged in that bottle. I like these bottles so far. I'm still testing them out, and I'll let you know what I think after a few weeks. Okay, so now that we've finished those two, let's move on to another option. This one, I kept all the pieces together nice and flat. So let me show you how I did that. This is a very easy way to do it. I have a piece of tape here. This is micropore tape, but you could use just a piece of um, cardstock with some adhesive on it or some painter's tape or scotch tape, anything you want. And I have it so the sticky side is up on my work surface. And I am just going to put all of these pieces together, just like a puzzle, nice and flat. And this will hold them together so that all I have to do is trim the tape off of the sides. And I have all of these pieces put together as one. And I can go add it to my card however I want. Now you could die cut a large heart and glue all the pieces to it. But this just seemed easier for me because I didn't have to go back and die cut. And also it keeps it from getting too bulky. So now I have two hearts with all those remainder pieces that we cut from before, and they're just taped together on the back and nobody will ever know it. Okay, so now on one of these, I decided to stamp right across the heart. This is one of my new favorite sets from My Favorite Things. I just love all the sentiments in here. I'm going to use a message that says, I love you just the way you are. I decided I wanted to stamp I love you on the outside of the card and the rest of the message just the way you are on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these stamps apart. So as long as you cut between the words or the parts that actually stamp, you don't damage your stamp at all. So I can always mount them as originally intended, but now I can use them separately. I'm brushing some anti-static powder tool on my surface first so I don't get powder where I don't want it and I'm stamping the I love you right over all the layers in the background here. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some white Hero Arts embossing powder and just tap off the excess and then go ahead and heat set this. Now in the crevices between the hearts, the powder won't work perfectly, but you can go in with a white pen and kind of color that in and end up with more smooth results. But I think it's kind of neat to see that embossed image across the different layers of colors. Now before we assemble this card, I need to go ahead and do the stamping for my fourth and final card since I have the stamp stuff out. This time I decided to stamp my sentiment on a strip of vellum and I'll have that stretched across the card. So I'm just stamping right up against the edge with the verse mark. I'll add my white embossing powder and then let my gun get good and hot before I bring it to the vellum so that it doesn't warp it. Then I'll just take my trimmer and cut right across the top and we have the perfect strip. Now it's time to assemble our cards. Now if you look here, you'll see that the heart is raised up. All the hearts are raised up from the background. To get all of those hearts raised up, I cut a large white heart from Fun Foam. So this is just a white Fun Foam piece. I'll link to where I get mine, but it's the stuff we played with as a kid. And I'm die cutting it with the largest heart. Now the die cutting machine will flatten the foam, but it will pop back up. I'm going to cut a little bit around the edges here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but this just makes the heart slightly smaller than our largest heart. You could leave it the full size if you want to. I'm going to glue this to the back of our assembled hearts, and this gives a nice, even raised look to all of these, and it makes it through the mail nicely. Now I need to glue this heart into the, onto the center of the card, but not glue this uh, gray outline piece on just yet. So I'm holding the gray outline onto the center of our card and putting and gluing the heart, assembled heart in the center. Then I'll remove the gray piece. 
the reason I'm removing the gray piece is I want to stretch the vellum over the hearts and over the gray piece and tuck it behind the gray piece. So I'm using the grid lines on my work surface here to line this up and I'm going to tape this vellum strip onto the front here so that we can flip it over and adhere the ends of the vellum on the back. Now I'm just going to fold the ends of the vellum over. You could score this if you want to but it just takes up time and it's really not necessary. Now I can cut off the extra of the vellum strip right off the back. I'm just keeping a little there so I can glue it down. And this way I don't have to worry about glue showing through because all of the glue is on the back of this heart piece. So now I can go ahead and put glue over this whole back piece so that we'll be able to glue it onto the card. And once I have this glued to my card, I can remove that tape on the front. So now I'm just going to grab my card. The heart is already on there. I'll just lay this down. And even though that heart is raised up, I can just kind of pop this over it. The vellum just kind of stretches to fit along it. And now I can remove the tape and we have that raised heart with the stamped vellum strip going across it. Now for the inside of the card, I am going to stamp with the My Favorite Things Hybrid Persimmon Ink. This is that persimmon color that matches that favorite color cardstock that I mentioned earlier. And I thought it'd be neat to stamp this on the inside. Now I wanted to have three little dots leading up to this because the message is continued, continued from the outside of the card but I didn't have a pen that perfectly matches ink. So I am just using a stylus and touching the stylus to the ink pad and bringing that to my paper. And it's a great way to make those three little dots leading up to the rest of the sentiment. And I did this on the center of the other I Love You card too. And there you have four cards that you can create pretty quickly using your stacked dies together. I think it'd be fun to do this with scraps of pattern papers too. Now if you're interested in the products you use, I always link them below in my YouTube description. Or you can head over to my blog where I have a whole lot more information. It's jennifermcguireinc.com. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope to see you again soon.